2k to go. Now it's time to back yourself. I'm back once Come again on. with another training series, but this time the block is 10 weeks long. The goal? To complete a half marathon on my home turf of Worcester in or under one hour and 36 minutes. My current personal best as of July 2023 stands at one hour, 40 minutes and 17 seconds. So earlier this year at the Warwick Half Marathon in February. I'm giving myself 10 weeks to find four minutes and 17 seconds of speed. Yes, I know, it's an ambitious target, but I'm ready to give it a good go. Week one has started with focus on recovery and easy runs, with just a little introduction of speed work. You join me on my Sunday long run, wondering how on earth I'm even going to get close to this goal time. This is week one of finding 4.17. Hello, welcome to week one, the first episode in a new weekly series where I'm going after a triple threat of 5k, 10k and a half marathon PB. It's not going to be easy, I've only got nine more weeks now to get after it, but I think, I think I can do it. So let me just fill you in on what's been going on this summer since the marathon in Manchester. Well, I had every Sunday in May, I had a race, three half marathons and one quarter marathon. Some required more effort than others, but of course none of them were easy because they're hard distances and they were hard, majority were hard efforts in June. I had the two castles run with Laura and also I had that fun challenge half marathon with Brett which again was quite a hard effort considering the weather and then that brings us into July which is where we are now and last week seven days ago today I ran a 50k ultra at race to the stones or 55 actually because uh, I went the wrong way so the base building is good I've carried that fitness from Manchester forward but I've lost a lot of speed so over the next nine weeks I'm going to be looking to add to that top end as I head towards a half marathon in ten weeks time or nine weeks today where I'm going to try and aim to run one hour 36. So on tonight's easy long run, well it's going to be about 14k. Is that a long run? I'm going to say yes. Yes it is. But on this long run, I've been keeping everything easy. Apart from now, I'm leaning into a steady pace. It's currently 5.30 per kilometre. I'm going to have just one solitary go at one kilometer at target race pace for the half marathon which will be 430 719 per mile and if you're not ready for it it's gonna feel fast and guess what I'm not ready for it but let's have a go and see how we get on Let's go. In these invincible twos that I've got 800 kilometers in, <laughs> I've got no bounce in these left. Let's see if we can pull this off. Four, 30 kilometer. Got a bit of gravity assisting me running downhill, which is nice. Still, it's quite fast if you're not used to it. just shows how much work I've got to do. Wow, I thought of doing 21 of them back to back. 
I've got a lot of work to do over the next nine weeks. It's gonna hurt, but I'm gonna do everything I can to make sure come race day, that when I'm stood on that start line, I've put myself in the best position possible to get that 1.36, that dream half marathon time. If we can get 5K and 10K PBs along the way, happy days. Right, let's slow everything down again. But now we know, now I know what's required. Whew. I'm out of shape when it comes to speed. You guys know I'm a sucker for punishment, so we're gonna go again. One more steady K, one more race pace K, and then it's gonna be easy to finish. Not the hardest session I've ever done, but right now, the level of effort is high when I'm running fast. I don't wanna to push too hard too soon, so I think just two, Big efforts in this run will do me just fine. So, one more steady K at approximately 5.30. Then, one more to finish at 4.30. Okay, that's the steady K done. Right, here we go. Let's see if we can do one more K, half marathon race pace. We can do this. Come on. that I need so much rest after just one rep shows what I'm putting myself in for this is gonna be really tough I know I can run that fast you guys have seen me run that fast it's just been a long time since I have run that fast I not only have a run that fast at 10k I now need to run for twice the distance at that pace because that's essentially my 10k pace is what I'm after. Let's get the rest of this run finished. And we'll have a proper debrief. So there we go, one hour and 20 of uh, running today. Two target pace kilometers, a half marathon pace. And why am I doing all this? Well, let me tell you. Nine weeks today, it's gonna to be the 17th of September. And I will be racing on my home turf of Worcester. You might have seen me do this half marathon last year, last September, it was really fun. And I fancy going for a PB at Worcester. Now I, said for those of you that have followed me for a little while just after christmas at new year i think i said i laid out some of my targets for this year and none of them of which i've hit yet and i think that might be the first one to hit which is a 136 half marathon can it be done it's going to be hard it's going to be really really hard uh, because it's basically my 10k pace so those of you that watched me race the 10k last year in redditch i think i finished that with about a 434 average pace which is about a 7 18 mile pace and that's where it needs to be so i've only run that pace at 10k so yeah i've got to get back to that fitness from last year 
that I accumulated from Amsterdam and I've got to run twice as far and a bit more so a lot to do a lot of work to do the week before that I'll be running the Great North Run with Laura who is absolutely bossing the training I can't wait to show you some of her progress because she's been she's been doing really really good stuff and that's going to be a great warm-up for the week after which will hopefully be my PB here in Worcester so there you go the 10k is yet to be booked I think I know which one I'm going to do and a 5k I'm going to try and set that at a local or maybe a further a field park room but I think it's probably going to be a local one so hopefully I'm going to hit those three targets in the next nine weeks so lots of content from me coming your way and I uh, yeah I better get my act together hadn't I so I'll see you on the next one thanks for watching as always and don't worry the beard's going to come back I'll see you soon bye bye